This is Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California, Institute of Technology, NASA, where everything started. For centuries, mankind has held an intense fascination with the planet Mars. Although scientific evidence seems to indicate that Mars is a cold, desolate world, Many scientists today speculate on what the planet might be like if conditions were somewhat different. Scientific breakthroughs in recent years suggesting that the red planet might contain water, and hence the possibility of life, have only fueled interest further. Mars One's announcement last year of a manned flight to Mars in the year 2023 stunned the world and has inspired hundreds of young men and women to compete for the inaugural one-way journey. I'm uh, Bas Lanserp. I'm a co-founder and uh, CEO of Mars One and we're organizing a manned mission to Mars in the year 2023. <laughs> Our requirements are very different uh, from those of the, of the normal astronauts. Lift off of the space shuttle and lands. Because they are going back home. Houston now controlling. And these people are going to stay there the rest of their lives. So it's a, it's a one-way ticket, yes. During the 19th century, Mars was more and more regarded as the planet most likely to harbor life. Especially when astronomers thought they saw specks of light appear on the surface of the red planet. The central question that many of us are asking is why on earth would anyone want to go on this one-way mission to Mars? Do you ever go on a trip to Mars? Of course, let's go, now. Well, the, the technology's not there yet. It's gonna be, it's 10 years away. But when they, when they have it, you'd be, really? Yes. Why? Because I'm always fascinated by God's creation. What do you think it would be like to go to Mars? Uh, I don't know, it would be interesting. It would be like going to like a, a completely different place, like going to Alaska. Alaska? You will never feel the, the wind in your hair. Uh, you will never hear the sound of walking through the snow. You won't hear the, the birds whistle outside. If you care a lot about these kinds of things, then you really shouldn't apply for a mission to Mars. Have you ever been sort of locked up in a room for like years? <laughs> that sounds fabulous. <laughs> the global search has begun for the first humans to set foot on Mars and make it their home. One way trip? Yeah, why not? You won't come back. I know. But how long? I mean, it's going to take a long time to get there. Right? It doesn't, it's not like an overnight trip. It's A year. A year, like, yeah. You still have your whole life. But then who knows what's going to happen when you get there. You could die. Yeah, I could die here. You'd never see your family again. I could never see my family again here. Yeah, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Hiking, you can't go outdoors, I you have to live in a I mean, what, what happens when you get to Mars? What do I get to? You live in a bubble. Yeah, you in live in a bubble. Like but do I get to move around? Like, like, do I get to bubbles. travel around Mars? In, in a suit. Okay, so yeah, so I can hike on Mars. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I like the Alps. I don't I know. Do What do you think motivates people, young men and women, who are signing up for this in the thousands worldwide? What do you think motivates them to, to, to be interested in going on this voyage? Um, I think people want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. So just maybe dedicating their life to science or helping further, you know, maybe one day we would all live on Mars. I have no idea. So I think people want to be a part of something bigger, and this is why they would do that. This is a great opportunity to be a part of something that's... That's huge. Total lunacy. I think that, you know, I mean, they, they think the Earth might be finished and they want to find another planet to live on. So, I mean, good luck to them. My great understanding of mankind, I, I really do feel that people um, have had enough. They can't take it anymore. They're mad as hell. And so they, they want to leave 
this planet where the dating scene is very bad and, you know, where, on a more serious note, where, you know, there's all sorts of trouble. If you're a journalist, you don't, you don't want to keep your, your head on your shoulders. Um, if you live out west, you want to know where your next glass of water is coming from. Um, so there's a lot of issues here, not only on the Upper West Side, but around this country. And I think that people are looking for pastures quite far away where maybe things will be slightly easier. In a thousand years, everyone on Earth will still remember who the first humans on Mars were. Would that be important for humankind? After all, we haven't discovered all the mysteries that surround our own planet. Perhaps the grass is not always greener on the other side.